All right, we're starting a new project here today. Um, for those of you that were following the Weeping Willow Bonsai updates, I haven't done an update in a while, and uh, partially for the reason that the tree was not doing the greatest. It uh, recently finally kicked the bucket. Uh, the big thing that had been um, rattling its cage the last couple of years is for two years straight, I had uh, brought it out and um, caterpillars had just, just devastated it. Back to back years. It, it made comebacks both times, but this past winter, uh, it, it finally just uh, bit the dust. And I think part of that is on me. I didn't water it enough over the winter, even though it was in its dormant phase. So, um, bad joke. Uh, but uh, we are starting a new project. I took some of the moss that was on our Weeping Willow Bonsai. Um, this was on the uh, base level on the top of the soil. And I'm going to use that primarily as decoration. It helps keep the soil moist too, holds that moisture in. Uh, we have our uh, bonsai tray over here as well. And uh, we're going to be planting some Japanese maples. I also have a little pot, so uh, we're going to be putting one in there as well. I'm going to do a little bit of an experiment. I'm going to make this be primarily outdoors. And I'm going to make another one be indoors. And I'm going to see if there's a significant difference uh, between my indoor one and my outdoor one. Uh, and uh, we're just going to pluck a couple saplings now. So let's uh, go on a little bit of a journey and uh, we'll be back on in just a second. All right, so here's our big Japanese maple here. That's a full adult sized tree, but we're taking some much smaller Japanese maples. And you can imagine it, it drops seedlings all over the place. But I'm looking for ones that have gone a couple years and haven't been picked out by the gardeners. And I've got a nice one right here. Uh, this one uh, definitely about uh, two years old and uh, we're gonna try to pluck that one out uh, using some tools and uh, I see another one over here found this little guy hiding uh, among the bushes hasn't been found by the gardeners for our apartment so we're gonna pluck that guy out too and I'm gonna see if I can find one more that's uh, decently sized but if we can't find another one, we'll just take one of the tinier ones that's maybe fresh from this year for the tiny pot. So we'll be back in a second. We're going to pluck this guy out using some very simple tools, and I'll be right back. All right, so this is what we came up with. I've got uh, four just scanning around the yard. I found four uh, little Japanese maples. This one is definitely the tiniest on the left, and we've got this one which um, looks very nicely developed with its root system, even though the roots don't actually go that deep, which I really like. And we've got this one over here. Again, oh, I'm getting a little tangled up there. There we go. Uh, not too deep with its root system. And this one, this might actually be, um, I, I, I'm guessing this is two years old because it doesn't look um, too far along. I had a little trouble getting this one out because uh, it was so incredibly deep down there but uh, hopefully um, it'll still be all right. We're gonna take these four. I think what I'm gonna do is I might take uh, this one and try putting it into uh, this pot right here. Okay. And um, I might take these other three and uh, stick them down in this pot and kind of put them one, two, three like that. I've got a little bit of moss like we said over here that we'll use on the top, make it look a little nice. And this is the standard layout that I use for my bonsai. I put a little mesh on the bottom, a couple of rocks down here, basically to keep that hole from uh, leaking soil and the likes. And then that's a standard bonsai tray that I put them on top of. And I'm gonna try to keep this one inside. We'll see how it's doing. And uh, the rest, the other three, I'm gonna keep out here. And we're gonna use a little mix uh, this is old soil, and this is some new all-purpose bonsai soil that I got, tiny roots. I, you know, it, it works. And uh, we got a nice uh, rock here. Look at these guys. They're going to sit in there too, and we'll see how it turns out. So tune back in in just a second. We're going to get these guys planted up, and we'll see how it looks. All right, welcome back, and we're just about finished up here. Uh, I have now planted three of these uh, Japanese maples into this pot here trying to create a kind of forest effect and you know they look a little sad at the moment but I think that's mostly because they were starting to wilt a tiny bit given that they were out of the ground for so long um, but I also waterlogged them and uh, doused them in a heavy mist 
Want to make sure they got plenty of water. We'll take this guy and we'll stick him in there just like that. There we go. It's a beautiful little forest then. And we um, put in, we had some old soil in the base of this. And we um, put some, some uh, well that's still old soil, but it's soil from a bag. When I say old soil the first time around, I meant from the last plant. We put some of that in there. That was old soil. And then I put some of this um, bonsai soil bonsai soil on on top to uh, round it out nicely so we've got uh, one two three we took some of that moss and we tried to spread it out decoratively um, I've got some of it here here there and a little bit in the back left over there some nice decorative moss and uh, then we've got this guy over here all right and we've got our uh, three Japanese maples planted up nicely in this uh, pot that we have here it's nice and big. This would be meant for like one really nice big bonsai or you can put multiples in it. And that's what I'm choosing to do here. I've got this guy here. Uh, we've got this guy over here. And we've got this tiny one. He's kind of hiding there because he is very small. But there he is. He's right there. And uh, hopefully these three work out quite nicely. Going off of my previous track record with the uh, uh, Weeping Willow bonsai, uh, maybe one of these will survive, but I'm um, hoping for more than that. You can see that we um, planted up with some of our moss from the previous plant. I uh, cut it up and I put a little bit here, there, there, and a little bit in the back left over there. And we've got a nice little rock in there for ornamentation. And uh, I layered the soil. I put some old soil from the previous plant on the bottom, put some uh, new but very old soil in the middle, and I layered the top with some of this patented all-purpose blend bonsai soil on the very tippy top um, coming over here this is the one that I want to try to keep inside with me you can see it's a little bit wilty they all are but I um, heavily misted them and uh, made sure to douse them with some heavy water again putting a little bit of moss over here this guy fit very nicely in the pot the way his roots were working they kind of swayed to one side they didn't go down deep so it worked out nice in this little pot here you get a nice side view there that looks very pretty already which is why I chose to put him in that pot because I thought he looked very pretty for his size. You get these guys here, got a nice look, and those are some very nice little Japanese maples that we've got growing here. So tune in, we'll get the updates going with uh, these couple plants. I would hate to drop them now. Again, a little side view here, and we'll just swing across. Very nice, and hopefully they don't die. So tune in next time, and uh, we'll see how they turn out. Adios. All right, welcome back. We have our Japanese maples planted up now. I've got three in this pot. One, two, you see them there. And three rare. Welcome back, and we've got our three Japanese maples that we just kind of plucked from around the yard, planted up into our pots, real nice. I've got three in this particular pot, we've got one here, we've got two there, and we've got three right there. This was definitely the big one. Uh, we took his roots and we kind of turned them down and bent them in just a little bit. But you can see we decorated this, tried to make it look real nice. I've got uh, a little bit of moss from the previous plant that I cut up into some pieces and I put around the pot to make it look real nice. And uh, this will help retain moisture, which could be good for the plants. I don't really know, I'm not exactly a professional here, uh, but it still looks real nice. Um, we've got three layers of soil in here. I've got a layer from the old plant, uh, a little bit of new, but that's still very old soil. And I've got a top layer of all purpose blend bonsai soil, which is mostly just a lot of um, wood mixed with a little bit of uh, fertilizer and some dirt. So that's one of our pots and uh, I thought this pot, this pot's definitely big enough. It was uh, holding a very nice large uh, weeping willow bonsai before this, but uh, for these three it holds all three of them quite nicely and gives a nice little wooded effect. Over here, this one I'm going to try to keep inside. I might keep it outside for tonight or I might bring it in. I'm still debating it. I want to try to keep this one indoors and keep a close eye on it. 
You can see that guy, we've got a little bit of moss again in there. This pot, perfect size, given that its root structure didn't go down very deep. It kind of just went and curved off to one side. So it looks very nice, just like this. Um, I like the rock here. I didn't leave quite enough room for it, but I still think it looks really nice. Let's take a little sideways pan. Very nice, very pretty too. I like that color on those leaves. It's looking beautiful. And we'll come down. We've got a nice little bit of ornamentation in there. And that looks very pretty. I think it doesn't look half bad. What about you? What do you guys think? Gives a little bit of a wooded feel to it. We have our nice little uh, ornament here kind of sitting in the middle. That looks real pretty. So we're going to take a look at these over the next uh, couple months. We'll see how they turn out. Hopefully they're all alive. Better than our uh, previous Weeping Willow saga, which ended in one growing uh, pretty nicely, but then ended up getting devastated by a lack of water slash caterpillars. And that's really one of the big reasons why I want to try to keep this guy inside. Hopefully keep him away from uh, those pecs, uh, pesky bugs and uh, maybe that'll, that'll help it out, even if it is indoors and it doesn't get as much sunlight. And uh, for the record, um, those of you thinking you need some sophisticated tools, this is what I used. A spoon and a knife, and that's all I really needed. So anybody can go out, uh, go out and do this. Uh, go into your backyard, grab a couple of saplings, and uh, go to town with them and have some fun. So uh, this is uh, Joe signing off. Those of you interested in the old plant, here, here she is. Good old faithful. This was what's left of our weeping willow bonsai. It had a nice uh, curve to it, very pretty. You can see there's some of that moss that I had taken. Nice root structure, I'll tell you that. Uh, definitely had some crazy good roots. Um, hard plant to keep though, because you do have to transplant it uh, quite frequently. At least bare minimum once a year, but you know, you're supposed to I'm told for weeping willows to do it twice a year. Um, I got away with doing it only once, but uh, then again, mine died. So take care of your plants, folks. Water them during the winter. And um, I, I, don't, I don't know, the caterpillar problem with this thing was just out of control. I mean, I'd find uh, caterpillars on every single day and I was plucking them off. <laughs> so best of luck in your future endeavors and uh, may you rest in peace. Old Weeping Willow Bonsai.